The good people of Fulton County in, uh, County in Georgia are mad, and they should be because they have been funding a county clerk's half a million dollar salary. Get a load of this headline. A Fulton Court clerk Tina Robinson makes over $500,000 annually. Commissioner says citizens should be outraged. Now, this reporting is coming from the Atlanta Press, and here's the backstory. Fulton County's clerk of superior and magistrate courts, Tina Robinson is estimated to be taking home more than half a million dollars annually, funded by taxpayers and fees associated with government services. Now, according to public record request, Clerk Robinson had an annual base gross income of about $168,000 and some change from paychecks issued in 2021 and an annual base gross income of uh, over $185,000 from paychecks issued in 2022. Now, the salary of Clerk Robinson includes bonuses from fees, which pushes her total taxpayer subsidized salary to more than a half a million dollars. That's a big paycheck. Let's go deeper. It is my understanding that the fees collected and retained by Fulton Court Clerk Tina Robinson resulted in additional annual personal compensation of $360,000 in 2021 alone. That's coming from Bob Ellis, the Fulton County Vice Chairman. The Atlantic Press has independently confirmed with at least two other confidential sources knowledgeable on the matter who also all said Clerk Robinson is making an extra $360,000 on top of her six figure salary through the fees her employees earn from processing passports. However, county employees under the clerk do not receive an additional compensation according to the records. And that's it. But meanwhile, check out the model from the from the clerk. Let's put it on up there. Fulton County Clerk of Superior Magistrate Courts doing the right thing the right way each time for every customer. And that is what the Madam Clerk had to say. Now, really what sticks out to this, sisters and brothers and family friends, what really sticks out about this in a very stunning way is why aren't the other employees in the clerk's office being compensated with bonuses too? And crime reminds want to know. And it's important to note in Georgia, because I had to put this out there, in Georgia, it is legal for it is legal for clerks of superior courts and probate court judges to pocket passport applications and processing fees as part of their personal income in addition to their base salary the processing fee is about $35 per passport but just because something is legal does not necessarily make it right so inquiring minds want to know again why don't the employees of the clerk's offices or these judges offices why don't they reap the benefits too bridget your thoughts on this yeah, I'm kind of with you. I have a lot of questions. You know, if I, if nothing untoward is going on, like I'm not mad at her salary, but I want to make sure that everybody in her office is also taken care of. If they're not eligible for these bonuses, you and me both know how these kinds of things work, Senator. Usually, you've got a team of folks who are doing the actual yes. work, and then somebody at the top who is re- reaping all the benefits. I just want to make sure that everybody in that office is monetarily compensated and taken care of. It's not just one person making all the money and then other people doing a lot of the work, but not getting that same level of compensation. I mean, that's it right there. Just go ahead and spread some of this monetary love. <laughs> that's all we saying, spread the love. Georgia, y'all better check on this. Now this ain't right.